Okay, so now I will show you how to do the creative alignment. So some of you already have some question in your mind that how to run the creative alignment. Here I have three different mesh. It's, it's the first mesh, second mesh, and the third mesh. What I did, I um, just created the geometry and then I, you know, generated the mesh. Then I, if you just right click, click on duplicate, it will create one more window like this in that way you can create some duplicates of the first one so you do not need to do it again and again and again then for the second one i uh, just you know refine the mesh i made i made it more fine the third one it is more fine then you already know how to do all the uh, you know the initial setups you know all of your boundary conditions so you need to just follow that other videos and once you have run your simulation, let's say you have three different simulations. This is for 10,000 uh, elements, this is for 50,000, and this is for 100,000. So we need to run all these three simulations. So you already know, and I will explain it during the lab class. So now how I will do the crew refinements. So I will just um, right click and I will click on edit. Then you see here the CFD post or the you know the ANSYS fluent post processing window will open. So it's it's opening. You see it's initializing the solutions, and we have more than we have three actually files over there. So it's taking time. Anyway, so this is the CFD post. Now I will check. But the pressure, maybe or the velocity. Let's say this is. Um, I'll show you just one option and advanced post processing technique you will learn during the class. Click on that and you select location. I'll select the outlets. I'll click the pressure and the local pressure at the outlet, and I'll click on apply. So um, it's showing the maximum pressure at the outlet is one point nine zero zero eight seven. So what I will do, I will go to Excel. So I calculated that pressure. So for our first mesh, for first mesh, what we have, as I mentioned earlier, 10,000 cells, and we are calculating the pressure. What is the pressure? We have um, pressure here, you look, 1.9087. So 1.9087. Now I'll just go to the second case. I will right click here, I will open, click on edit. Then I just need to wait. So we can close that on, uh, but I'll just keep that open. So now I will get the Values for fifty thousand for the second second mesh, okay, and we don't know the pressure value yet. Um, yeah, so you can see this is the second mesh, the second mesh. Now click on this control and select this location. We'll calculate the air file pressure. We calculate the local pressure. So we got it is one point five seven seven four eight. So it is one point five four seven seven one eight or something like this. Now what I will do is I'll go to the, the third one. I'll click on open. So this is for hundred thousands. Let me write it down here. Hundred thousand. Okay. We don't know the pressure yet. Um, let's wait for that. Yeah, it's still um you know, initializing and updating the solutions to CFD post. Um, I think it's done. Yeah, so this is the third one. This is the third mesh. Click here, click on controls, um, outlet, pressure, lo local pressure, apply on that. 1.57748. 1 1.57748. Okay, um, I think I'll write down this and correct the second one 
second dot also the same you see 1.5778 anyways um 1.5778 yeah so now we have three um mesh this is the first mesh you know this is the second mesh this is the third mesh so in that way you need to refine it and if you click here if you click on insert and now you all know like how to um, actually do all this uh, thing again okay, uh, we can follow different we can just uh, also the other options this layout maybe this one so if you look here um, we can see initially this this is the y-axis this is the pressure the total you know the pressure and this is the number of cells we found initially it was um, higher and then when we increased the number of cells and you see um, it's coming down and but these two cases it looks like same so this is how you will do you can either use this one or this one this is just some demonstration i use very basic setup uh, and you know because i wanted to make the video as short as possible so for your case what do you need to do you need to do the same thing you need to just create the first mesh second mesh third mesh in that way you need to refine it again again and again and then you need to keep the setup exactly same for all uh, mesh so here only the number of cells are different and then you will check the values so now you can ask me should we always um, calculate the pressure so the answer is no you can calculate the velocity as well you can calculate the velocity or any other variables okay so it's not only the pressure but any other variables now the question is is it only the the outlets or we can do somewhere else yes you can do somewhere else maybe you can create a plane here this is uh, how you can do that if you go to the plane so this is the plane and you see this is our xy coordinates so you can you can change this method so i'll keep it as x y and i will change randomly the values and see where it creates the plane so okay I'll, i need actually the maybe i can take the y jet plane um, yeah so you see i created the y jet plane if i remove this wireframe in this counter then you see it is the it is it creates a plane like this you, you can see much better view if you look this is a plane we created now if we go back to this counter okay if you click on this counter and this is same for all versions if you are using 2021 20, or 17 19 it doesn't matter so select the location plane oops it's plane one now you can calculate the pressure over there so on that plane we found it is the high pressure 12.0069 so this is how you will calculate um the, the the pressure velocity or any other variables and then you need to just draw a plot from excel and then you need to include in your report so this is um, how you will do the grid refinement and we'll have a more detailed discussions during the live session